Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Goldie Naps, and in today's video, I'm giving you the only flexi ride tutorial you will ever have to watch. Okay, because you'll see these results. <laughs> Took me from type four to type two real quick. If you are new here, I do lifestyle, beauty, and fashion content here on this channel. Make sure you subscribe down below if you wanna see more content like this from me. And without further ado, let's get right into this video because I know you cannot wait for these results. All right, if you're watching this video, then you know today we are going to be doing a flexi rod set. I did it last week and it turned out so good. I'm so mad at myself. I didn't record a tutorial last week, but honestly, I just didn't know if it was gonna be a hot mess. I'm starting off with freshly washed and detangled hair. And girl, let me tell you something. Do not even sit down and attempt to do this style if your hair is not freshly washed. Like, do not style dirty hair. Don't do it. The first step in really getting this style to be like completely frizz free and last for a long time is to do a good blowout first. So I'm gonna go ahead and just like section off my hair really quickly so we can start doing that. All right, for my blowout, I've been using like the same stuff for my blowout for the past couple of years and I feel like it gives me like top tier results every single time. I use the Chi Silk Infusions as my heat protectant and then I blow out my hair with the Dyson Supersonic Dryer and the comb attachment that I bought separately. I think they have models of this dryer that come with the comb attachment but mine came with some other stuff that I don't use nearly as much as this. So it's definitely worth the purchase if you have this dryer. We're gonna start by taking our first section. It can be, you know, a relatively big section. This is kind of the size that I do all over my head. Take some of your heat protectant of choice and just put that all over your section. I like to focus some on the ends because that is like the most brittle heat sensitive part of your hair. And now we can go ahead and start blow drying. I am going to be using medium heat and low air. That is enough for me to get my hair pretty flat and straight when I'm blow drying it. And once I'm done blowing out a section, I just twist it up to keep it out of the way of the other sections. Okay, I finished blowing out all my sections and I'm just unraveling the twists before I hit my roots real quick with the blow dryer just to make sure that they are nice and flat. All right, now that my blowout is done, I'm gonna go ahead and install the flexi rods on the back section of my hair and I will come back to show you all the technique. All right, I've got all the flexi rods installed at the back section, so now I'm gonna demonstrate the technique for how I'm installing these to get the most frizz-free look possible. 
First thing you're gonna wanna do is section out your hair to install your first flexi rod. The sections do not need to be precise. This is generally the amount of hair that I'm doing per flexi rod. Then you can just twist up the rest of your hair. and clip it out the way. The product that I'm using today is the Pattern Curl Mousse. You can use any mousse that you'd like. I personally recommend mousses over creams and gels for this style because mousses dry extremely quick and they give you the same definition and hold as a cream or a gel. If you follow me over on TikTok, I've talked about this multiple times before. Generally, I only use gels for wash and goes and then I use mousses or foams for literally everything else. In my personal experience, creams can be very heavy, leave a lot of residue on your hair that's hard to wash out and they really dry super slow. So if you've ever struggled with doing like a twist out, a braid out, a flexi rod set and you've been using cream and you have the experience of taking it down and your hair is still soaking wet is probably because you've been using a cream. I definitely recommend trying to do these types of styles with foams and mousses instead. We're gonna take our section and add like two or three pumps of foam. Put that all along the shaft of your hair. Make sure that the ends of your hair are also getting coated. That's really important. Take your flexi rod and place it behind your section and then start twisting your hair tightly around the rod. This is really important in terms of avoiding frizz. If your hair is twisted too loosely around the rod, that gives it room to frizz up, which we absolutely do not want. Once your hair is twisted to secure the rod, fold the bottom of the rod up and the top of the rod down. And now your flexi rod is installed. I'm gonna demonstrate the technique again close up. First, just section out the piece of hair that you wanna twist up. Take your styler of choice. I'm using like three pumps of the pattern styling mousse or curl mousse. What is this product called? Pattern curl mousse. Apply that all along the shaft of your hair and make sure your ends are also coated. Now take your flexi rod and place it behind your section and start to wrap your hair tightly around the rod. It's really important that you wrap tightly to avoid any frizz. Once you're done wrapping your hair, fold the bottom of the rod up and the top of the rod down to secure it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and repeat the same thing on all the rest of my sections and I'm gonna demonstrate it a few more times to really make sure y'all get the gist of the technique. I just finished installing my flexi rods. I think I ended up doing my parts a lot smaller than I did the last time I did this style because I ran out of the orange rods that I initially intended to use. So I had to mix in some like 
old rods that I had, but the issue with that is that they're from when my hair was much shorter, so they're like smaller rods. I'm just hoping it turns out okay. Like last time I did mix in a couple, but this time I had to add in like 10 of the old rods. So when I mixed them in before, like it wasn't noticeable. So I'm just hoping that like it turns out okay or I will have wasted my time and I'll have to do this tutorial all over again, so. <laughs> Our next step is drying. And like with most styles like these, drying is the most important step. If you unravel these before they are completely dry, you're gonna end up with a frizzy mess. It's not gonna look how you want it to. I'm gonna sit under my dryer for like an hour, hour and a half. I personally use the one from Red by Kiss. I got it on Amazon and it's really affordable if you don't wanna buy like a very high end hooded dryer. I like it, it works for the purposes of doing my hair at home. And so I'm gonna go dry this and I'll come back to take these down. All right, I was sitting under there for an hour, so I'm hoping these turned out okay. I'm gonna go ahead and start taking them down. It's the moment of truth. All right, I just took down all the rods and here is how we are looking right now. I want y'all to know there is no frizz. Absolutely no frizz. And I know I look crazy right now. It's being very like Victorian era child. We don't want that. We're gonna have to separate it and give it, you know, a full body look. But this is what you want when you take the rods down. You want there to be no frizz. I'm gonna start separating my hair to give it volume. And to do that, I'm gonna be putting some oil on my fingertips and I will be using this Olaplex oil. separated this side and this is how it's looking okay it's real cute and now I just have to do this side and finish it off all right I give myself a quick little side part throw my makeup and a cute fit and here is the finished look now you can't tell me I didn't snap I know I know y'all see these results. Okay, look at that. Look at that. The difference between when I did this the first time and this time is that I was really vigilant about my ends and adding additional foam when I felt like I needed a little more whenever I was wrapping around the flexi rods. So the last time I did this, I definitely had frizz on the ends of my hair and concentrating that foam on the ends and making sure it was properly wrapped and not like sliding off really made all the difference. And I feel like this is gonna last a really long time like y'all understand how obsessed i am like this looks fantastic so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and try it out for yourselves and definitely let me know how it goes make sure you like comment and subscribe and i will catch you in the next one bye